Hi everybody. So today is Saturday the, is it the 4th of May. Yeah, the Saturday 4th of May. Right, I want to show you a few things that I've been up to recently and then we'll show you what we're going to be dealing with today. So we're in the front room. This little plant here, by the way, I made this plant pot. Well, I didn't make the plant pot. I bought a, uh, a sink and then decided I weren't going to use it as a sink. <coughs> Too little. So I turned it into a plant pot and I've put my little avocado plant that I grew from seed or from nut in there. Doesn't it look lovely? Right, I've moved this for a reason. I'm going to do some work in here. But I want to show you what we're dealing with in the kitchen. And I want to start by showing you what little beauties I've bought today. Yes, the rooms are going to clean it. It's going to all get cleaned today. Can I just draw your attention to this? Now, you might look at it and think, what's the big deal, Sarah? The big deal is this. I'm going to do some research on it. What you're looking at, I believe, is a genuine Victorian paraffin lamp. That's what that is. And uh, I've just bought it for £20. So... I did try and knock him down on the price. You look at the bottom. So it's like a ceramic base with like a brass insert that's been stuck on it. Slightly skew with. And then you've got this white ceramic. This beautiful pink. Followed by the brass top. And then this stunner of a lamp. I, I just can't even get over how beautiful it is, everybody. I just, my eyes nearly popped out of my head this morning when I saw it. And when they said 20 quid, I thought, I've got to have it, no matter what. So, I've got it. So, there's that. Then I bought this chicken thing. I paid £3.50 from the charity shop for that. <laughs> I thought it'd be right nice over there in that corner um, to put my eggs in for the morning. So, that's what that chicken thing's about. Um, I got this ordinance survey map from the charity, I think it were a quid, and it actually covers South Barnsley, so actually what this is going to do, this is going to be a great reference point for me to complete a few historical videos that I've been planning, because I've got some that I want to talk to you about, but I'm not too sure where all of these places were, so that is going to cover that. I've also got another one which covers central Leeds. I don't know if there's a date on this. There's no date. I'm sure there's probably a date somewhere. Be a bit older anywhere. And then I got this book on haunted Yorks, you know, like ghost stories. And then here, I've looked at this in the charity for a few weeks and it's a standing mirror. We're going to work on all these things today, everybody. Or I am. But this is a standing mirror. Just going to put that down because it'll probably smash down and then that'll be the end of that. The idea behind this today, over my bedroom, so let me show you. Let me show you, show you, show you. So you see, I need to move my computer, get that out of the way. See that mirror that I've got there? I'm going to take that down, I'm going to paint that one and I'm going to hoist it on the wall and the mirrors will teeter in and out it's what i wanted to do with the other mirror that i had but it fell to pieces but i think it'll look really beautiful so i'm going to paint it gold and then we're going to hang it up there so that will i think that will look amazing and then that mirror can go probably up in the top corner there somewhere i don't i'm running out of space in this bleeding bedroom perhaps i'll put it up there but i don't know because then the door might hit it who knows i've got some space out here maybe i'll put it up here or somewhere anyway let's uh, have a look at what else we've got to do so that's my little oh no i ain't showing you everything i ain't showing you everything so let me just show you what i'm dealing with see this mess it's horrendous so i need to finish this table which we're going to do today i need to get a piping bag for some for some um grout so i need to work that out i think i've got a bag that i can do it with if not we'll go and get some that table behind it, I'm going to pull it down, take it upstairs and put it in the attic. I think the sewing machine's going to go on there. And this table, which was originally scheduled for the back bathroom, is going to go over there. And I think I'm going to end up painting the legs gold. So it's going to be gold and pink, which will sit in with my theme. I'm going to paint the chairs pink. And then I'm going to paint 
the frames around these mirrors gold so all the area will come together it'll look absolutely beautiful so we're going to do that today i don't know if i'm yeah i'll paint these as well and then if i get time i'm going to crack on finishing these well there's no, i can't really finish yet because there's stuff i need to do so this is another project that i've got going everybody and then i need to strip these cupboards but that'll be another day another video just before we crack on let me show you the other find, find that I found. Now, I cracked on to a fellow that I didn't know who these people were because I really wanted them. But basically, I asked him how much he wanted for these and I was expecting, you know, four or five quid. I was hoping that they were going to be Victorian portraits. They're not, um, but they're very, very good. Very, 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 very good, everyone. So, look, we've got Fred and Ginger. Uh, I, that's John, John, um, what's she called? John, oh God, what's her name? John Crawford. I think that's John Crawford. I don't know who he is and I don't know who he is, but he looks familiar. Um, we've got another Fred. I don't think that's Ginger. And then, hang on. We've got this fella. I can't remember his name now. I do know who he is though. Oh, that's um, Debbie Reynolds, isn't it? So I've got these beautiful pictures. So what we're going to do, I don't know, I'm going to have to find somewhere to put them. Um, in this house, perhaps I'll put them up here, paint them gold, put them up here. I think they'll look pretty cool. Or I don't know everyone. I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, let's get on. Oh, this other one, I paid two quid for that. It's like a, it's not a real old painting, at least I don't think it is. But it's old and I thought it was quite cute. And you know me, I'll put up a picture that no one will have in the house. And that's the pink we've got for doing the chairs in. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let's get cracking. everybody just um i'm gonna stop for something to eat now so you've just watched me clear the corner out pull the table down that table it's just over there in pieces i'm gonna put that upstairs in the bedroom no in the sewing room i'm gonna put my sewing machine on that and then what my sewing machine's on i'm gonna use that as a cutting desk for the material but the paint that's on the mirrors and i need to do the insides but i've got a paintbrush i went to range and I bought these paint brushes, so that's what I'm going to do the finer detail with. And we're going to do some painting on this table in a minute, plus finish off a mosaic, but I need to get some dinner. So, do you like the painting that Tony did from an artist from Oldham, Tony Shaw? So it was UK Graveyard. I love it, I absolutely love it. But anyway, um, I'm going to do the finer detail. I'll do that later. I'll probably not film it because he wants to see that. Um, and then I'm going to get a blade and I'm going to scrape the paint off the mirror. And then let this chair dry. I was thinking I'm going to do the body of it pink and then gold panels down the side, which I'm going to use this acrylic paint. I'm going to mix a mixture of the gold with some black, which is I'm going to do um, for this table as well. So this table is now going to be the kitchen table. And as you can see, it's halfway through. I've actually got a video where I mosaic it, but I don't think I'm going to put it up. Because I'll just show you how I mosaic it. But essentially what I did is I bought this and it was just a wooden top. Some people were thinking, Sarah, why have you done that? But I wanted to do it, so I did it. But if you look, I took some shit, uh, some some tiles, yeah, smashed them outside. Um, I'll put a snippet in if I've got it. And basically what I did is I uh, just laid them down. And then I've started to put some grout over the top but I don't like how it finishes it's dead hard to get it off so I'm going to finish it we're going to grout it with a piping bag I think so that'll get done but the legs I painted them silver because it was supposed to go in the bathroom with a sink on it but we've had to change plan that's the bathroom project that's another video I'll be revealing that to you in the next couple of weeks but 
I'm going to have to paint this gold. So I'm going to sit in a bit and we're going to paint the frame of it gold over the silver and that'll match the gold that's going on the chairs. And uh, yeah, let me get my dinner and then we'll crack on. we've just experienced a disaster in this house and these this is the remnants of the disaster it's my own stupid stupid fault so i don't need to remember but i made a, a, a lamp that sort of hung on these chains anyway it went over in that corner and like an idiot i just tried to hang it not thinking take the friggin shirt off anyway it shattered into a million pieces so the lamp is no more but that's okay because i've actually got a lamp that I want to put up there um the same as in the bathroom so I'll get my electrician man to fit that next month so right everybody we're in the front room I don't even know what time it is I swear to god I don't know what time it is I think it's probably about half three four o'clock so anyway um I'm gonna mask up this mirror this is what I bought from Terry today I don't know if I showed it you before basically this is the frame it goes in yeah I did show it you Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by masking this up, paint this gold, obviously, everything goes gold. Then I'm going to mask up these two side ones, paint them. And then I'm going to somehow mount this to the wall above the um, thing in the bedroom. And then somehow get this to stay in the thing it should do. Anyway, we're just going to do it and I'm, I'm sure one way or the other I'll get there. Right everyone, I'm going to do my painting here. For some reason, I painted that thing in here right over my pink rug. Don't know why the hell I did that. But anyway, no I'm done. Not dropped anything. But I wanted to give you a peek of this. So this cabinet here, bought this for a fiver today. And this is going to go where the toilet currently is in the bathroom. I'm going to paint this up. I've not decided what colour yet. I think it's going to have to just go white with perhaps silver knob. And the reason why I'm saying silver over gold is because it, uh, it'll it match the thing. I can't even think. Anyway, you know this, this, the bowl? What I did is I put them flowers on it. What do you think? Um, I wanted to do the inside, but I'm not sure if it'll stick. You know, if it'll come off in time. But I don't think I like how I've done it. So I'm going to turn it round. And I think I'm just going to do this side and have this showing, you know, the front and just put on little, I'll show you what I'm thinking because in here I did this ball and I just put a few on this, but I'm thinking more detailed, you know, that type of thing. Can you see it? I wonder if you can see it. Anyway, but that lamp looked nice there, didn't Winda? I had the top off it before. It's got a brand new wick inside. I don't know if it is antique or whether it's just made to look antique i don't know i'm gonna have to do some research but it doesn't really matter because i love it anyway so i'm going to get on with painting this now right then everybody so the mirror's painted as you can see it's dry um it's gonna go above there so i was looking out back there isn't actually anywhere you can attach <clears throat> you know like nails to or to to you know to put it from one to the other i might be able to drill that out and then put a nail in and attach thing to it but maybe down here this this would work drill it a little bit but i'm gonna try first before i do that i've got a simpler idea i'll do that last 
I'll do that if I have to, right? But basically what I'm thinking is, you see these little things here? If I put two screws in, wow, two nails, and put them up like that, I think the mirror should just sit on them, but I've got to get them straight. So I'm not going to film this, but I'll show it you when I've done it, or I'll come back and I'll be drilling the wall. Let's see where we go. And as I said, it's going to go right there. Right, everybody, look at this then. So I've managed to get it on the wall. I've got my jewellery in front of it now. So I can't really see it. Let me pull it back. So straight away, I noticed that because I pulled the tape off, I missed a bit of gold. But you know, tomorrow when I do some more painting, I'm going to uh, touch that up. But what do you think? What do you think of that? Can't even see through this bleeding mirror. It's cool. Watch this. So the, the mirrors move out as they would if they were on a dressing set. Look. Need to be careful near that lamp. <laughs> but there. I'm happy with that, everybody. Right, I'm going to get to editing up today's uh, escapades. And then tomorrow we're going to go to Cleethorpe's. And then Monday we're going to finish everything off. So I'll see you in Cleethorpe's. Oh, maybe before actually. This is us in Cleethorpes yesterday. We've got Michael, Adrian and uh, Marjorie there. <laughs> really good day. Uh, the video should be up, um, I would say, uh, next couple of days. Good morning, everybody. Right, so it's Monday. Had a day off yesterday, went to Cleethorpes. I've done a video, but that's not going up just yet because it's just not. <laughs> so... Right, a couple of things. So we're going to finish off. I've started doing round here with some some of this Aquafix grout. But I need to go around with something a bit more of a defined tool. To, so we're going to do that today. Also, if you look at the top of the grout, I've decided that it needs to be the same colour as the legs. We're going to go upstairs and we're going to make some cushions to go on the seats. We're going to do that today. We're going to do one for that, one for that. Then we're going to go, what we're going to do then? Oh yeah, at some point in between that, I need to pull the sink out in the bathroom. Just making a coffee and some eggs. Have you seen this? I got the other day, everyone. I love it. <laughs> look, look. I just think it's a really cute chicken. And um, I put my eggs in there. So that's where I keep my eggs. But we used to have stuff like that when I was growing up. It was just so cute. So I got that. So anyway, I'm going to make uh, egg egg butter this morning and then we'll get cracking i don't think i'm going to bother putting any makeup on today because i just want to get some graft done so definitely won't be on camera but we can crack on the wall from the other side. Who 
know whoever's fitted it. I think they've fitted the sink from the other side, from in the other bedroom, because the end of the screw that attaches it to the wall is facing me. Also, I've turned the water off with the valve, but I can't turn the... Um, I'm not strong enough, you know, to turn the nuts. Can I come and get you and you can have a look and see what we're dealing with? Because I might need to do something here. That's weird. How the hell have they done that? Dunno. Can I come and get you, Sai? Well, my turn is not working. I know. Well, I just started ten minutes ago. Well, is it too early? What time is it? <laughs> it's only quarter past eight. Right, so what you haven't seen is I ended up going for side, I didn't go for him till about 10, went to charities and then I brought him back and uh, he undid the taps and then I, what I did is I dragged the tap, the I dragged the sink and the thing that it was stood on out, nearly smashed my toe in. That's in the back bedroom now, and then I borrowed the angle grinder. Um, but honestly, <laughs> I thought the loofah were going to set on fire. I think I actually put that in on the video when I did my earlier edit, when I was pulling this together, because it was like, it was about two, about an hour. <laughs> but um, these things, you'll see when I'm tiling in a bit, they're still a bit proud from the wall, which has cost me a bit of a problem with the tiling. So you'll notice when I do get to the tiling, that's one of the tiles in specific, uh, near where I'm grinding now, that goes over that, it's sticking out a bit. But the toilet that I'm putting in, even though it's going to be open foot wall, um, it's going to um, it's going to take eye off it, you know. Anyway, let's get back to the bed.
and I've ran out of uh, energy. And you know what? It probably doesn't even look like I've done anything. I look at it and I think, what have you done? But actually, I've done quite a bit. So, painted the legs on the, on the table, finished off the mosaic, filled it in, started to paint the surface. So, I don't know if I've made a mistake or not, but I don't think, I didn't feel, what I should have done with the white, I think I should have boiled some tea bags, really strong tea, and then stained it. Instead, I went and painted it gold. If I could take it back, I'd stain it with some tea and just make it old. But it doesn't matter, I'm committed now. So, that's what it's going to look like. I need to just clean the tile off. When I've finished all of that, it's a bit of a trauma to do it, to be fair, but um, that is going to be my kitchen table now. And there's a bit of trim I need. I'm waiting for it to come off sheen for here, like a gold trim that's going to go round. So hopefully that'll look all right. Anyway, I like it. I like it. And it's in my house, so. <laughs> the chairs, they're not finished, as you can see. But when they are finished, they'll look pretty cool. Because look at the finish on the seat. It's really good. So I've, I've just run out of steam, everyone. I've not stopped this weekend. So, and I made that little cushion before. That's my little trial one. That'll do for now. I think I'm going to make the floral one from the same pattern. But anyway, uh, that was just to try it, and I think it looks all right. So the floor, I'm actually going to put a new floor down and put in, like, a cushion floor, I think. Or I might... I might paint the tiles which will be a massive undertaking because I'm going to have to put this treatment on them first which cleans them all up and then I'm, I might do some mosaic not mosaic uh what's it called stenciling I might do that but that'll be in a couple of months meanwhile I'm going to clean it with that stuff so that's the floor's just full of paint and stuff from all my what's in my jigs so that's the corner uh, I'm not doing anything more on my cupboards, but I can't until my stencils arrive. And I bought some more moulds today, so I'm going to be making some moulds. Um, let's have a look up the stairs. Let's get a can of cork out there. Yeah. Not when you're right thirsty. Look at that. Oh. I've got everything everywhere, everyone. Right, let's have a look at the bathroom. So, finished off, well, done the tiling. This is the tiling. Um, as you can see, it doesn't look great. It needs, obviously, grouting. And I'll show you this finished article when I've done it. There's a bit of a gap. But it's all right, because I've got a magic solution. That gap there that you can see, here, it's quite big. But I'm going to take some tile to Superdrug, and I'm going to get a nail polish that matches, and I'm going to paint it in. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I think it'll be fine. And then this is the toilet pan for the toilet that's going in. And the toilet that I've got going in is uh, the cistern will sit about there. And then there's like a metal pipe that comes right down into the seat. And it's got a pull chain. It's going to look pretty cool. So, in the bedroom. What did I do in the bedroom? Oh, yeah. I did this mirror dinner. So, let me just put light on. So, I painted this mirror. Um, I really like it. I showed you this before, didn't I? But this is, it stayed up well. Look, it's just, I just was some nails in there. It's not going anywhere. So, that's it, everybody. And, uh, I went to, where would I go to yesterday? Cleethorpes. Yeah, I went to Cleethorpes. And, uh, I've got a video on that as well, but I'm not releasing it until next week or something. Because I want to do a few bits to it. And then... That's it, so I'm going to go make a pasta. And, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. See you soon.